Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Before we start today's video, please hit that thumbs up button. Also the subscribe button or follow button and the notification button so that you guys get notified of every new video that we make. Today we're going to take a look at installing Draugr OS. Draugr OS, what is it? Well, I did a first view of it just the other day, so you can check out that video. But Draugr OS is a Ubuntu-based game-centric distribution that is uses the system back installer, not the Flutter installer, and it's pretty much so got game of you know your GOG launcher in there, your Lutris launcher in there, it's got Steam installed. So it's got all these different packages. Uh play on Linux is installed, Wine Tricks is installed, all the things you need to be able to play games on Linux both natively and from Steam. Uh but the installer, the system back installer is a little bit confusing. So that's what I want to take a look at to do a video on how to install Draugr OS. So we're going to go ahead and jump over to the actual desktop over here where we're going to get into my virtual machine and we're going to set up Draugr. So this is the vert manager that I use, which is a QEMU KVM. And right now I have the, if I go here and view the manager, you can see I have three different managers right here. I've got uh, uh, actual, they're containerized um, installed virtual machines. One's Draugr, one's FiOS, and the other one's Ubuntu uh, Deep in Desktop. So we're gonna go to Draugr, and that's the one that's open here in this right panel. I'm just gonna close this one out, and then we're just gonna actually have this one here. So we're just gonna go ahead and click play, which is gonna start the machine, and it's gonna give me this. So we're gonna install Draugr, because this is just like what you would do when you go to set up the actual virtual machine and if you need me to do a video on how to set up a virtual machine for an ISO that you want to install let me know and I can certainly do that as well so right now it's going through its boot menu and it's going to log into right here so this is the actual first screen that you're welcome with but it's not completely done yet because it's in virtual machine it loads everything into ram so it takes it a minute for it to run the actual scripts that it's going to run and this is where we're at it's going to run this system back which they call the system installer so we're going to click normal install and then this is what you're going to have to fill out notice the to do and completion right so you click on keyboard then you want it's 105 you know key centric then you're going to pick the actual keyboard uh language which i'm going to do english us uh variant you don't have oh you don't have to put any is there none go back because i didn't mean to click on that i was just trying to show you different variants should you have need to put a variant in uh, I don't need to put a variant, but there are variants that you could put in. Yeah, you know, these are all different ones uh, that you could put in if you need to. Uh, and then you're going to go ahead. You're going to click OK. Next, you're going to do your locale and time. So your lo your language, we're going to select English. Your region, uh, for me, it's going to be America. And then my sub region is going to be Los Angeles. I do not live in Los Angeles. However, though, there is the time zone that I live in is there. That's the big city that, that is in that time zone. So I'm going to hit OK. Uh, as you see, as you complete the little sections, it gets marked from to do to completed. So that's how you know that you haven't done something. So this one is going to be the extra options. Now, this is a caveat that you need to understand. If you're installing into a virtual machine, as I am right here, you do not need to do anything except enable the the EUFI uh, bootloader compatibility mode. Do not do these. If you do these, it's going to error out. I was going nuts the other night trying to figure out why it kept giving me this error. What the error was is it this for some reason stops it from writing and 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 doing the make config for grub for the init RAM FS. So I don't know why, but because none of these have anything to do outside of the drivers. 
I think the 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 Nvidia drivers I think are the only reason why. But other than that, it'll air out. And I found this as a little blurb in the Draugr document in the Draugr documentation. I found it. It was obscure. It was somewhere, and I was like, huh. So I went back and tried it after like the ninth time of getting the same error. And I was like, the live the live works, but I don't know. I I did it and it worked fine. So. That being said, do not check anything except the bottom one if you're loading into virtual machine. Click OK. And then you're going to move on to partitioning. Partitioning, for those of you that don't know what partitioning is, it's where whatever operating system, whether it's Windows, Mac, or Linux, uh, what it does is it takes your hard drive, it reads it, and it's going to partition it into little sections. They're going to apply a boot section. It's going to apply a swap section in Linux, which is going to be like a... Uh, extra RAM type on the hard drive uh, section and then your actual root partition or your home directory too if you decide to do an extra home directory but those where your operating systems are going to be written to Windows does a similar thing and so does Mac so we're not going to do you could do manual partitioning you could exit or you could do automatic and I'm going to do automatic it's easy for everybody to do uh, a separate home partition no but here you've got to select the VDA that you want to do so you want to do dev VDA 35g right because I gave it oh and you have to have a minimum of 35 gigabytes in order to install Draugr that the documentation says that and that's what it is and so you select that partition we don't want to make a separate home partition it's all going to be on the same root partition and then you simply hit OK now you are done selecting your preferences so now oh wait nope we got to do user settings my bad you see that we're forgetting this to do so we go to user settings here you're going to put in the name i'm going to do tlt for the linux tube the computer's name is going to be tlt dash and then we're going to be Draugr. okay password i'm going to make it some super cryptic nasa encrypted password that you can never guess and then I'm going to hit OK. And now everything is completed. So now that everything is completed, you may proceed to the next section. So we're going to hit Done. And this is going to give you the final confirmation, or sometimes written as an overview, as to what it's going to do. Partition, it's going to do auto partitioning. It's going to install on the drive and home set. The home directory is no meaning it's not going to create that. The language is going to be English. American is the locale. The computer name is uh, TLT Draugr. Compatibility mode is true for EUFI. And there's your password. It's actually what's funny is it unmasks your password here. So, like I said, super complicated. Uh, that's kind of a bit of a bug is that it's unmasking it because most places don't do that, but that's okay. Uh, it, this it will be gone tomorrow. I will delete this off the virtual machine, so it doesn't matter. So now you want to click the install now, and it's going to delete all the partitions. It's starting the actual install. Uh, it's connected to the internet, so it's going to download whatever it needs to from the internet to make its image so while this is doing this i'll pause the video when it's all finished i will return just a little bit of an update you can see that we are at 89 percent right now and here right now it's writing grub and it should be finished here very soon and just like that it is all finished so now that it's all finished everything's done as you can see you now have your desktop environment here which has got what i already did this in a review but you have your game your game launcher game hub right here uh, also you got your install right here behind it that you could have done but now that it's all done you want to just simply click restart system but when it does this what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to uh hit enter but i might have to pause this yeah so uh let me see if i could pause this real quick Uh, we're going to power this off. We're going to force off. We're going to hit yes. And then I am going to go right into here. And what I have to do in Virtual Manager is I have to remove the CD from it, which is basically getting rid of the media that's on here, right? We're going to hit apply. And then here in boot options, I could stop the, uh, the SATA from being the first boot option, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't have the ISO installed to it. Or written to it so we're going to actually go ahead and hit play now to to run the machine and then we're going to boot into 
Draugr OS right here. We can hit enter. And then it's going to take a minute. Right now it's doing a UEFI boot. And when it does that, we'll log into Draugr OS. And here we are. So we'll put in our super secret password. Hit enter. And then there we are. But we're not quite done yet. The one first thing you want to do is you want to go here. This is your whisker menu. Type in display. Dog on it. The welcome screen popped up. I took a look at that in the in the review video. So the the first look video. So you can go ahead and watch it there. I'm not going to explain all that. I'm just going to teach you how to fix your display settings, which I did show you that in the actual review video as well. But you type in display down there, click on display up here at the top. Then you can select your selection right here to whatever display ratio you want. I'm going to do 1920 by 1080. I'm going to click apply and we're going to keep this configuration. And just like that, voila, you are now installed with Draugr Linux in what, 15 minutes using probably what I would say, honestly, if I'm being, if I'm being honest, it's probably one of the worst installers in the linux ecosystem called system back it's really not meant to be uh, it, it's it's supposed to be like a snapshot rewriter sorry about that it's supposed to be like a snapshot rewriter but the reality of it is is people use it as an installer so that's the thing about linux if you're switching from windows to linux you're going to find some things that they use or that are like oh wow that's a little rough but it gets the job done that's all we got to say so either way guys Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys thought of the video. Tell me what you think about Draugr OS. If you've ever used Draugr OS or want to use Draugr OS, um, let me know what your thoughts are on that. Either way, you guys keep doing what you do. Y'all keep on links and stay blessed, stay happy, and I'll see you in the very next one.